Let's take a look at the craft control panel and get familiar with it before we jump in and start building out our site. The first thing uh, that we want to look at is this dashboard here. And the dashboard is where your users uh, that have access to the control panel will land when they first log in. The dashboard has a series of boxes here that allow you to do things like review recent entries, send a message to craft support, check for updates, get some craft news. But you can also create your own boxes here. And these boxes are called widgets. Using new widget up on the right, you can choose a widget that will pull in an RSS feed, uh, the get help widget, which is this send a message to craft CMS support, a quick post, which allows you to quickly add an entry to a section. So we just say news and then do save. And now we can quickly add a news entry rate from the dashboard and uh, recent entries and updates, which we already have out here. Now, in addition to that, you can move these around and reorder them and also change their width so that you can make ones that are more important to you perhaps a little bit bigger. So let's move that up and we'll make this one a little bit smaller. There we go. And now we're able to organize this however we want and what, whatever, uh, way makes the most sense for our site. So this is the dashboard. You'll most likely quickly jump into the entry section here. And the entry section is where you have an overview of the entries in your site. Now entries are single content or other uh, entries that are typically stored in sections like in the news section. And when you click on an entry, you are brought to an entry publish form that looks like this. On the left here is where we organize our content and edit it and input it. And on the right is where we have some metadata about our content, like the slug that will be used as part of the URL, the post date, any expiration date, whether this is enabled. So if it's on or off, available or not available, and some date created and date updated. We can also do a live preview and get access to the live preview of this entry including how it will update automatically if we make changes like that. So live preview is really nice. We'll just close that. We'll leave our page and on our entries listing page, we have some columns with dates and the expiration date and a link off to the public version of this. And we can customize this as well using this gear menu where we can choose which columns appear and don't appear. Let's say like that. And we can also reorganize these and have a new uh, heading like this. There we go. Add a new heading, click save. And now we have this little heading here called content and we can organize these sections and our entries, however we see fit. Another option on the left here is settings. And this is really where all of the business is done on the site. The inner workings will be working in settings a lot as we build out, out our site, especially in the sections settings where we can create and manage the sections as well as the fields settings where we can create and manage the fields that we'll use to enter our content or our data. Additionally, we can edit the account information for the currently logged in user. And finally, we can also access the licensing. You can see down here in the footer, it says personal. This is where we can manage the license that we're using. Click on the gear. And we get a modal window here with our options. So we're already on the personal license by default. Now we have the option of jumping up to client or pro. So a couple things here, if you are running a non public URL, like we are like, you know, dot dev dot local, something like that, something that's not dot com or dot net, then craft will allow you to try 
any one of the license licenses for free. So I just say try for free. I've been upgraded. Now reload. And now you can see it says pro trial, which is perfect for developing locally. And this is trial doesn't time out. However, if we deploy this to a public server, we will have to pay to gain the license to use craft uh, properly. And now you can see that we have a users option on the left here because we're on pro, we can add and manage users. All right, so that is the basics of the craft dashboard uh, and control panel. It's, it's not very complicated, although we are going to dive in much deeper as we are working through building our site. The next thing I wanna show you is some of the files and directories that come with craft so we can understand how it works on that end. The first directory I wanna start with is the craft directory. And these are the ones that we just uploaded to the server. We'll start with app. And this is, like it says, the app. It's the application. This is the core code that runs craft. Next is config. And we just looked at config when we updated our db.php file. But there's also a general.php file, which allows us to specify some general site-wide and server settings. There's also routes, which handles any routes that we have set. And then our license and then redactor settings. This is for the WYSIWYG editor or the rich text editor, where we can set in our defaults for that editor. In plugins, this is where we store plugins for craft. When we download a plugin from somebody that created it or, pur or we purchase it or we create our own, we put our plugins in the plugins directory. The storage directory, this is what craft uses when it is running. The main one that you uh, might interact with is runtime and cache. This is where craft is caching uh, the site pages, uh, caching compiled templates so it can run faster. It also is where it stores logs and all sorts, all sorts of other stuff. If you ever have problems with Craft where you need to contact Craft support, many times they'll ask you to go into this runtime directory and uh, send them something or just zip the entire runtime directory up and send it to them so they can debug the problems. The templates directory is where our templates will live. And as you can see, we have some templates already here. We have a layout template, which is our main layout that wraps everything else on the site. Uh, 404 page, an index page, and a directory for our news templates. We'll also be working a lot in the templates directory. Before in the control panel, I said that we would be working a lot in the settings, especially with settings for sections and fields. On the file side, we'll be working almost exclusively inside of the templates directory. So that is the craft directory. The other directory we have is public. This is where our Apache server, on in my case, Apache with MAM Pro, is pointed. And the index.php file here handles all of the incoming requests and routes them appropriately to the craft application. 